afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Friday, February 10th. I'm Addison, and this is Presley. Thanks for joining us today. Let's make a visit to Miss Bills. Reading for the Battle of Books has begun, and she's got all the info. Hi, I'm Maddie here with Mrs. Bills. Tell us about the Battle of the Books. What is it, and when will it take place? Battle of the Books is a comprehension competition in which students read 10 books um, that are designated by Battle of the Books Committee and then they go to a competition um, with a team of five and they attend a competition and then the, the actual competition part is comprehension questions from those 10 books and they have to, they're, they're given a situation and they have to determine what book that situation came from. Um, we, com we compete against uh, Lubbock schools, Friendship schools, Amarillo schools. This year it will be held um, here in Lubbock. Last year it was in Amarillo. And so these students have to be very committed and um, stay on top of things to read 10 books within a certain period of time and to know those books very, very well. Uh, the competition will take place on May the 12th. How many students will participate? We will take two teams of five, so a total of five, uh, ten. How much preparation goes into the Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, the students come um, with me into the computer lab so that we can uh, get as much read as we can, designate that time to reading, but they also have to read at home and other times at school also. What type of prize will be there for the winners? A trophy, a great big nice trophy that we will bring home this year. Thank you. Hi, Maddie here with Carson. Taylor. Are you participating in the Battle of the Books? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what will you do to prepare for the Battle of the Books? Read. Hmm. I don't know. Thank you. Hi, Maddie here with Lavo. Jamie. Are you in the Battle of the Books? Yes. Of course. What will you do to prepare for the contest? Read. Read. Are you all in Battle of the Books? Yes. 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 What are y'all doing to prepare for Battle of the Books? I am reading the books as fast as I can to get through them. I'm reading the books. Reading. Thanks, Miss Bills. It's time for our teacher spotlight. Today the spotlight shines on Miss Portillo. Miss Portillo teaches Spanish. Her students really like her and, ha and, have and having her as a teacher. Here's more. I'm Lindsay here with. Aurelia Portillo. How long have you been teaching? Uh, this is my sixth year. What are your students doing in class right now? They're learning about um, their introduction, how to speak Spanish, how to introduce themselves in Spanish. What college did you go to? I went to Texas Tech University. What's your favorite thing about teaching? My students. Thank you. We wanted to let you know that you all did a great job bringing in donations for the Children's Miracle Network. As a result of your donations, many children in our area will have a shot at a much better life. Thanks for all the generosity during the CMN Drive, Tigers. Everyone make sure to buy a val Valentine treat or two from the Student Council. They've got the yummy Valograms for sale. This is the last day to buy, so find a student council representative before the day's over. The National Junior Honor Society is sponsoring a special Donuts with Dad event next week. It's Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. What better way is there to say Happy Valentine's Day to your dad than to invite him up to eat some donuts with you? And since Tuesday is Valentine's Day, Mr. Jerebeck thought it would be a perfect day for another food regulation free day. That's right. The concession stand will be open and all sorts of snacks will be sold all day long. So remember to bring a little extra cash to you for school on Tuesday. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with Lukey Pookie and see what's going on in our weather forecast. I'm Lukey with current conditions that are partly cloudy with 72 degrees, wind southwest, 19 miles per hour, precipitation 0%. Here's a look at our regional forecast. There's no rain in our area. Here's a look at our five-day forecast. Warm tomorrow, but cooler Sunday and Monday with a good chance of rain. I'm Luke with you. Ready back to you. Thanks, Luke Pookie. Now let's take a look at sports. Good afternoon, Tigers. I'm Mallory, and this is Katie. Here's a look at today's sports. It's time for the Athlete of the Week. Hi, I'm Destiny Herman. Megan. Congratulations on being the Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Basketball. What's your favorite thing about that sport? Being post. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Matthew Hewitt. Trevor. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Football. What do you like about that sport? It is an enjoyable game. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Matthew here with Claudia. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Basketball. What do you like about basketball? Uh, winning. Thank you. Hi, I'm Matthew here with Carter. Congratulations on being Athlete of the Week. What sport do you play? Basketball. What do you like about basketball? Getting to play against other schools. Thank you. That's a look at today's sports. Back to you. That's it for today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. We'll see you later. Until then, Tigers. Bye.